Hi, welcome back to Yoga with Go Road of Channel, and this is day 26 of your yoga challenge. So today we are going to do some twistings, uh, standing twistings, and we're focusing on Paravita Partial Kanasana. It's revolve angle pose, and we are going to do some variations. Let's get started. Well, first pose, Tadasana. So, keep your feet together, roll your shoulders back and extend your arms downward. Lift your chin, gaze forward, eyes quiet. Be stable, press your heels and lift the kneecaps. Let the muscles of the front thighs draw up. Broaden the chest, the upper chest and broaden the collarbones. Roll your shoulders and extend your arms downward. Gaze forward, press your heels. Breathe, don't hold the breath. Now extend your arms to the sides and now Turn your palms towards the ceiling, inhale, raise your arms up, look upward and extend to the maximum towards the ceiling. Press your heels, extend your arms. Don't hold your breath. With each inhalation, open the chest from inside. With each exhalation, relax your shoulders, uh, relax your face. Okay, move your arms down. Okay, very good. So next pose, Uttida Trikanasana, extended triangle pose. Okay, now bring the hands to the chest level. Now bend your knees, inhale and jump and spread your feet wide apart. Now turn your left foot in, right foot out. So keep your right heel and left arch in line. Press your heels, extend your toes. Extend your arms, lift your chin, open your chest. Feel your back ribs. As you press the left heel to the floor, with exhalation go down. Bend over and hold your Right leg, right shin. Extend your left arm. Roll your shoulders and extend the sides of the trunk. Now turn your left abdomen, so, sorry, your right abdomen and right chest towards the ceiling. Turn your head, look upward. Keep your legs straight. Okay, very good. Now inhale, come up. Keep your feet parallel. Extend your arms. Now turn right foot in, left foot out. Press your heels, lift your chest, lift your spine. Be ready. Inhale, with exhalation, go to the left side. Bend over and hold the left leg. So, as you extend your arms, turn your left abdomen and left chest towards the ceiling and turn your head. Be stable. Now, inhale, come on. Turn your feet to the center. Be ready, bend your knees, exhale, jump, go to the center, Tadasa. Stretch your arms, take two, three, normal breath. So next pose, Parivita Trikanasa. Revolve triangle pose. So you need two blocks. Okay, I will show you, starting from the back. So bring the hands to the chest level. Inhale, jump, spread your feet wide apart. Now turn, left foot in, right foot out. Now again, keep your left leg straight. So turn your left foot more in, okay? And from here, go to, to the pose, place your left hand to the block from the front ankle and extend your right arm. And now turn your left abdomen and left chest towards the ceiling. But in the same time, extend the sides of the trunk. Be stable. Feel your back ribs, move your back ribs in. Now be ready, inhale, pull your right arm up, go to the center, bring the hands on your waist, take two, three normal breath. Now turn, right foot in, left foot out, adjust the blocks, so this is the outer ankle, outer heel. So keep your block closer to the outer heel or outer ankle. So make sure that you turn your right toes in, extend your arms, press your right heel, be ready. Inhale with exhalation, go to the pose. Try to keep your hands and arms in line. So press your left heel, the right, right hand, 
right heel and turn your right abdomen and right chest towards the ceiling. Feel your back ribs. Feel your right shoulder blade and move your right shoulder blade deep in. Get ready, inhale. Come on. Bend your knees, jump, tadas. Yes, very good. Now, let's do Uttanasana with the holding elbows for recovery. Spread your feet, hip width, extend your arms, bend your elbows, hold your elbows. Now, inhale with exhalation, go down. Keep your legs straight. Keep your legs straight and relax the lower back, relax the head, neck. And extend the sides of the trunk. Now inhale, come up. Release your arms. And uh, let's do the next pose. Adjust your blocks. The next pose, Uttida Pasha Kanasa. So this, this word, Uttida, means uh, extended and Paribrita revolve. So, uh, we did Uttita Trikanasan, extended triangle pose, and Paribrita Trikanasan, revolved triangle pose. Now we are going to do Uttita extended angle pose in the side angle pose because Parsha means side. And Paribrita Parsha Kanasan, Paribrita means uh, revolve side angle. Okay? So now, Uttita Pasha Kanasan, extended side angle. So bring the hands to the chest level, bend your knees, inhale, jump, and spread your feet wide apart. Now turn left foot in slightly, and <clears throat> turn your right foot out, adjust your right heel and left arch, press your left heel to the floor. Now be ready, inhale with exhalation, bend your right leg, now extend your right side of the trunk and press your right hand on the block. Extend your left arm, turn your palm and extend your left arm over the head. Press your left heel and now again focus on the rotation. So press the right knee to the left, uh, right arm and at the same time turn your abdomen and chest towards the ceiling. Turn your head and extend your left arm. Press your left heel. Okay, now inhale, come on. Bring the hands on the hips, lift your chest, take two, three normal breaths. And now the other side, turn right foot in, left foot out. Adjust your left heel and right arch, lift your chest. Now extend your arms to the sides, be ready. Inhale with exhalation, bend your left leg. As you bend your left leg, resist your right heel, right leg. Now extend the left side of the trunk and take your left hand on the block, extend your right arm towards the ceiling, be stable, turn your right hand towards the head and extend your right arm over the head. Press the right heel to the floor, firmly to the floor. And now move your left knee towards the right, uh, left arm, connect, fix this connection and turn your left abdomen and left chest towards the ceiling and extend your right arm from the right heel. Inhale, come on. Feet parallel. Bend your knees, jump, tadasana. Absorb your right side, left side. So feel this action, so rotation in this pose. Okay, so the next step, preparation for Parivrita Pashakanasana. So this is the basic position. Okay, so what I do? Okay, let's do on the right side. So I try to create right angle between, uh, between my right sh 
pushing bone and right high bone. I lift my chest, I keep my left leg, uh, leg bent also. I press my left knee to the floor, left foot to the floor, and then I keep my right hand on the waist. Okay, don't do, just I will show you first. Okay, this is the first step, preparation for the full, preparation for full Paravita Parshakanasa. Okay, now let's do. So bend your right leg, press your right foot to the floor, press your left knee to the floor, keep your left high bone perpendicular to the floor, and press the left foot to the floor. Lift your chest, lift your spine. Now extend your left arm, open the left side of the trunk, and now with exhalation, turn and bring your uh, left upper arm and press the upper arm, left upper arm, to the other part of your right thigh. And now press the left arm and now extend the sides of the trunk, move your right elbow behind your back, right shoulder behind your back, resist your legs, extend and turn more. Use your exhalation. Inhale, exhale, turn more. Last one, inhale. Exhale. Okay. Release the pose. Relax a little bit. And change the legs. Now press your right knee to the floor, right foot to the floor. Lift your chest, lift your spine. Now inhale, raise your uh, right arm up and extend the right side of the trunk. Be ready. Inhale and go to the pose. Bring the right upper arm across and press the right upper arm to the outer part of your left thigh. Now feel this area, the back ribs, right back ribs and right shoulder blade. And then inhale, extend the sides of the trunk and exhale, turn right abdomen, right chest towards the ceiling and move this area deep in, into the back. Now again, inhale, exhale. Try to keep your legs and pelvis stable. And last one, inhale, exhale, twist. Okay, release the pulse. Very good. Okay, so this is preparation for Prairie to Parsha Kanasana. And now I will show you uh, the full pulse. As you prepare your trunk and your spine for twisting, you're ready for the full pose. I will show you, don't do now. This is full pose. Okay, so let's do together. So be in Tadasana, roll your shoulders, lift your chest. Now bring the hands to the chest level, bend your knees, inhale and jump. Now turn, left foot in, right foot out. And now take your right hand on the waist, extend your left arm up and turn to the right, turn your trunk, chest, the right side. Extend your left arm and now bend your right leg and lift your left heel. Now with exhalation, bring the left upper arm across and press the left upper arm to the right thigh. Now, like in previous variation, extend the sides of the trunk, turn Press the fingers to the floor and extend your left arm over the head. As you extend your right arm, sorry, right arm over the head, extend the left leg. A few seconds, stay there. Okay, with exhalation, come up, bring the hands on the waist or hips. Two, three normal breaths. 
And now the other side. Turn right foot in, left foot out. Turn your trunk, left side, extend your right arm. Be ready. And bend your left leg. Lift your right heel. Be stable. With exhalation, bring your right arm, upper arm, closer to the left thigh and press the upper arm to the left thigh. Press the fingers with ex inhalation, extend the sides of the trunk. And now extend your right arm over the head. Left arm, sorry. Left arm and extend your right leg. Also, be ready with exhalation. Come up, make a two, three normal breath, stretch arms to the sides, exhale, jump. Tadasan. Very good. Let's do Uttanasan, hold the elbows. Now inhale with exhalation, go down. Soften your breath. Relax your lower back, relax your head. Now inhale, come up. Yeah, very good. Now dog pose, Adam Goswanasan. Go closer to the front edge of the mat. Bend forward, press your hands, bend your knees, and step backward with your feet. And extend your arms, extend your legs. Now feel the sides of the trunk. After twisting, after previous poses, extend the sides of the trunk. Use your arms and legs. Relax your head. Okay, very good. Now bend your legs. Sit on the heels, spread your knees apart, and bend forward. Relax your lower back, relax your head, neck. Soften your breath. Keep your arms straight. Okay, now sit up. <clears throat> now lie down on your back. And bend your knees and hold the knees and relax deeply your abdomen, your hip joints. Relax your legs, relax your shoulders. Soften your breath and soften your shoulders, your hip joints, your legs, your lower back. Okay, release your legs and let's do Shavasana. Adjust your position, remove the props. Turn your palms towards the ceiling, drop your shoulders and relax deeply your whole body from outside, from inside. Feel the right side of the body, left side and from the center Line, allow the right side, your body, release to the right side, left side of the body, release to the left side. Drop your shoulders, your arms, your hands. Relax your lower back, relax your buttocks, your pelvis, your hip joints. Relax deep your legs. Right leg, left leg. As you relax your leg, relax completely your abdomen. Lower abdomen and upper abdomen. Relax your throat, relax your face. Relax your eyes, ears, nose, tongue. Allow the energy of organs of perception flows inward. Be quiet. 
stay in this position a few moments more. Now slowly, gently, you will come out from this pose, bend your legs, bend your arms, bring the hands on your abdomen, slowly turn to right side, stand the right side, let the eyes open, press your left hand to the floor, and slowly sit up. Thank you. Namaste. Enough for this session. Uh, if you have questions, uh, leave the comment below. If you like this video, hit the like button. Share this video with your friends and share this challenge with your friends. Um, I wish you a great day and see you tomorrow.